What is going on everybody my name is and welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Chelsea Road to Glory. If you do enjoy the video please drop a like. If you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you'd like to check out any social media links or links to the previous episodes they'll be down in the description below. So in the last episode we finished with one point but we are making no upgrades as of yet. We're going to run with this team and we have no debutants to show you. So we're going to jump on in to the first game and as we do that we're going to be coming up against an opponent who has a majority bronze side apart from two silvers he does have low chemistry apart from the Italian theme running through his team but 67 chemistry is what you hope for in these types of games and hopefully we can take advantage and the first opportunity falls us as we swing it across they do clear it out but win the ball back Xiao Rodriguez picks up the ball, plays it into Kristen Crevice. He looks to break from through the defenders and smashes it into the top corner, giving us a 1 0 lead. Then, just before half time, we get another opportunity. Cuevas once again getting down in the wide areas, looking to pass it back, places it to Masonda. Masonda's shot is blocked by the defender and puts it out for a corner. In the second half, we continue as we did in the first, could dominate in play and getting our opportunities. A great save there from the keeper, keeping them at 1 0. We do pick up the loose ball, try to play it back in. The shot's once again saved by the keeper and eventually do scramble it away after we pick the loose ball up. And then my opponent gets their own opportunity looking to break on through and some poor defending there gives them a shot on target and the keeper does well to tip it from the lob away for a corner. Then from the resulting corner they play it short into the defender into their player. They play it out to the corner of the box, then run inside the box past a couple of defenders and put it in the back of net, making it 1-1, which was how the game did finish. So we end up walking away with a point when I felt that we should have got the win for the game. But there's not a lot you can do. We take the point and get us one step closer to promotion in Division 10. So that's going to give us two points, which we'll show you when we go through into the updates. So as you can see, we had the one point carried over. We got one for the draw, and that gives us a total of two points. So we're going to go ahead and spend one of those points, and that's going to be a bronze player. So we're going to go ahead and generate a random number on random.org. The number that was generated was two, which is going to give us Jeremy Boga. So he is going to come in for his debut in the second game, which gives us a nice option in the central midfield spots, but you do need to get some defenders in as soon as possible. So we rotated the team once again and Boga's going to play in the centre of three cams as he is default a cam but I did buy him as a central mid the cheapest on the market. So we go into the first, the second game and we come up against a 3-4-3 side with a few gold players in there but very low chemistry and something that we look to take advantage of even though they do have some players in there that are stronger than our players. But Straight away we get an opportunity, some nice work here by Jeremy Boga, looks to find the ball through to Jao Rodriguez, he picks up the ball and his shot ricochets off the post and eventually the defender manages to scramble it away. The moments later we get a free kick, we swing it in, it comes back off the bar, we try to head it again and it goes back off the bar and out for a goal kick. Then as he looks to push forward here, we do win the ball with Jeremy Boga and he slides in and his player is going to go ahead and get a straight red card for that challenge, giving us a man advantage. And we look to make the most of that. Some nice work again by the debutant Jeremy Boga, looking to find an opportunity to get through on goal. He cuts it back, looking for the shot, and it smashes off the bar, and they clear it away once again. But then we play a short free kick, play it into the path Charlie Masonda, who smashed it into the top corner, giving us a 1-0 lead. There's some nice work by Daniel Filiscoke, looks to break it through to Sam Hutchinson. Filiscoke picks the ball back up, plays it into Boga. Boga smashes it into the back of the net, giving us a 2-0 lead and a debut goal. Then Boga once again looks to break inside the box. As he gets inside the box, the players slide in. We look to step back and smash it into the back of the net, giving us a 4-0 lead. There's some nice work here by Houghton. They slide around the box once again, taking him down, giving us a penalty. And that is going to give another red card. So we now have a two-man advantage. And Boga is going to step up to the spot to secure his hat-trick on his debut. Giving us a 4-0 lead. Which is exactly what we want. And all well and good. There's a nice work here by Ola Anyara right back. Picking up the ball. Looking to drive inside there. Goes past a few defenders. And as he goes to put it in the back of the net. My opponent decides to rage quit. Which will give us an, the rage quit bonus. Which is disappointing because we were just before half-time. And wish I could have scored that fifth goal first. But as you see, Boga does pick up a hat-trick. We do get the 4-0 win. And move on into the... 
points breakdown. So as you go, we see the one point carried over, plus three for the match result, plus four for the goal difference, plus three for the rage rate, and plus three for the three goals scored by Jeremy Boga, giving us 14 points. So we're going to go ahead and spend some of those. Now, the first player we're going to pick up is a goal player, which was number eight at random generated, which is Miroslav Stock. So we're going to go ahead and put him into the team. So then we decided that we would go ahead and spend another three and bring in a silver player. So in the silver player list, we again generated the number at random using random.org, and it was the number six, which is going to be Lewis Baker. Uh, central midfielder who currently plays at Vitesse Arnhem. So that gives us a few more players to bring in. Obviously, both those players need to make their debut in the next game. So as we do that, this is a team that we'll be going with. And as you can see, chemistry is a bit poor, but unfortunately, stock has no links at the moment until we get some players from the Turkish League. So we're going to move on in to the third and final game of the episode and we're going to be coming up against an opponent who has a few gold players a few silver players and two bronzes and it looks like a team that we can possibly beat with the low chemistry so we are hoping to make the most of that <laughs> but it didn't start off well as my opponent gets an opportunity straight from kickoff pretty much he picks up the ball goes past a few of my defenders which cannot get the challenge in and the ball ricochets and falls kindly to me, smashing it into the back of the net, giving him a 1-0 lead. Then we get an opportunity from a corner where the header is weak and goes straight to the hands of the goalkeeper. But we continue to push forward. Some nice work here by Nathan Aki getting in beyond defenders. He's going to get his shot off. The keeper's going to save it. And as we pick up the loose ball, we fail to get it off quick enough. And the keeper manages to make a brilliant save to keep them at 1-0. Then we get another opportunity again, trying to get through with Nathan Aki. We pick up the ball with Jao Rodriguez. He finessed it into the back of it, giving us a goal, making it 1-1. Then we continue to push forward. Some nice work here by Alex Kwame in the wide area. It looks to cut it back to Jao Rodriguez once again, but the keeper makes a brilliant save with his feet, keeping the scores at 1-1, which was how the game did finish. And I was very disappointed in this game because I felt like the stats were all in my favour and I dominated the game, but I just could not finish my chances, which really means I need to bring in a striker as soon as possible. So we go into the points breakdown, and as you can see, we carried the six over. We got plus one for the match result, giving us seven points. So we decided that we are going to go ahead and spend five of those bringing in a gold player to improve the standard of the team. And the generated number was 17. 17 is going to be Pape de la Boge. We have his Chelsea card or his Werder uh, um, Bremen card that we can use, but for now we are going to use his Chelsea card, which you can see. And... We decide to go and build this team to put him into. So we have got very, very good chemistry in the squad now. But that's going to bring an end to this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Until next time, my name's Ashley. Thanks for watching and goodbye.